right, we're going to continue with Chapter 8, Leadership and Management. This is continuing on with owning and operating a business. Section 8.1 talks about leadership qualities. So our objectives are to define leadership, describe the qualities of a leader, and name at least three ways in which an individual can develop leadership skills. Leadership means taking a company and its employees in a direction based upon a vision. Leaders see the big picture and never lose sight of their goal. Good leaders manage others by inspiring them. There's more to leadership than just being in charge. In today's world, true leaders know their businesses and the capability of their employees. They analyze current trends and steer their business on the right course. Some people who are managers are not leaders. They focus on specific tasks to make sure work gets done, but they not, may not be visionaries or inspire others. Good leadership is needed not only in the business world, but also in areas such as nonprofits, education, and sports. For example, a football team depends on its quarterback to call the signals and direct the offensive play. The quarterback has to think quickly and counts on his teammates to follow through after a decision is made. Ideally, the person in charge of a business or a business team is also a leader. Leaders also make sure that the business operations of an organization are running smoothly. This could involve making sure that office duties get done, handling records management, and planning, organizing, running meetings. Being a good leader takes several qualities. Motivation, confidence, communication skills, and integrity are among them. Let's look at motivation. There are three components to motivation. One involves inspiring others. Good leaders have the ability to motivate others to meet goals. Some do this by inspiring them with their energy, enthusiasm, and charisma, as well as their personal efforts. Another component is initiative. Initiative is the ability to act and make decisions without the help or advice of others. People with initiative do not wait to be told what to do. Initiative is an important quality of entrepreneurs and good leaders. Generally, it involves taking risks. Most important, motivation means having a goal, whether it is to create the best video game or to make the best skateboard. A true leader is motivated by a vision and uses it to inspire others. Activist and theologian Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered many powerful speeches during the Civil Rights Movement. In his famous I Have a Dream speech, he painted a vivid picture of the future in which all people were treated equally. One year later, Congress passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Confidence. Leaders also need self-confidence. Being self-confident means knowing what to do and taking action. Self-assurance makes others feel confident in their leader's abilities. The more others are convinced that the leader knows what to do, the more confident they are they will have in him or her. A confident leader is also de decisive. Suppose you run a student magazine. The latest issue has come back from the printer with a big mistake on the cover. You could sell it as it is, remove the covers, or send it back to the printer. You could get advice from your workers, but you need to make the final decision. If your decision turns out to be wrong, you must take responsibility for it. People have confidence in a leader who is willing to make decisions and learn from them. Communication skills. Being able to communicate and discuss employee issues helps leaders deal effectively with different situations. A leader must be good at human relations. Human relations is the study of how people interact in the workplace and how communication can be improved. Most large companies have a human relations department which handles employee hiring, records, and problems. To deal with some human relations problems, leaders have to apply conflict resolution techniques. Good communication also involves mentoring. A mentor is a trusted counselor or guide. Mentors usually have more experience than the people they counsel. They should also be good listeners. Leaders do not, sorry, leaders need to listen to people to be informed about what they are doing and what their strengths and weaknesses are. As mentors, leaders can better understand employees and their needs. This is especially important when working with teams and trying to increase productivity. Leaders must be able to communicate the types of behaviors that, they are, that are considered acceptable at the organization. Let's take a look at how good are your communication skills. This chart asks you to evaluate your communication skills. So ask yourself, 
or think to yourself. People usually understand what I'm saying. I find it easy to see things from someone else's point of view. I listen actively to keep my mind from drifting. When I am wrong, I'm not afraid to admit it. I rarely jump to conclusions. I try to put myself in other person's shoes when we are talking. It helps me understand if people tell me that they disagree with me. When I work with others, I try to do my fair share of the work. And finally, integrity. Integrity is an adherence to a code of ethical values such as honesty, loyalty, and fairness. Integrity is the most highly valued quality of a leader. Leaders need to set a good example and follow standards. If they're willing to sacrifice the quality of their product to make a bigger profit, people are not going to have much faith in their vision. Developing leadership skills. Some people say leaders are born and not made. However, while some people have natural leadership abilities, others can develop them over time. A person with charisma, such as a star athlete or a popular person in class, is often mistaken for a natural born leader. Charisma alone, however, does not make somebody a good leader. To manage activities successfully, you must draw on a specific set of skills. These include human relations, communication, networking, problem solving, and decision making skills. Leadership qualities are learned through knowledge and experience. Skills can be developed in another of what, a number of ways, such as reading books, watching videos, and taking courses on leadership. By working with someone who has the leadership ability and studying what he or she does. By joining a club, a team, a drama group, or a community organization. And by taking initiative at school, at work, or in club activities.